Here I have on my iPad Pro, fourth generation, 12.9 inch, the game Watch Dogs 2 via Google Stadia. Uh, well, here it is. Uh, this is a game released in uh, 2016. And it's the second game from, uh, from this uh, franchise. We have another one before this and the latest one, uh, Watch Dogs 3 basically, or Legion. And... Uh, you can play uh, uh, these three games on Google Stadia at an impressive quality or you can play them, uh, why not, on uh, on uh, PlayStation via Remote Play if you want to, to try them on your phone or tablet. So as I said, this is Google Stadia streaming the game directly on my iPad Pro and now we are playing with Marcus. Marcus is a young hacker in San Francisco let's see what do we have here Okay. Hey. You know the game looks great. It performs excellent here. So if you don't have a PlayStation and if you don't want to, to stream it or to play it on a, on a TV, you can try it here. As I said, you will play basically in uh, San Francisco and uh, the area that you have available here in this uh, in this open world. It's twice bigger than uh, the one available in the first game where you where you played in Chicago, basically. So you have a huge, huge open world and uh, yes, probably sometimes um, these games are better than Grand Theft Auto. It depends now on what you like to do in games because the same game has uh, basically the same foundation as uh, Grand Theft Auto games. But here you have more interesting elements and more things to do. Now it depends on each player. Anyway, I like uh, both uh, platforms, Grand Theft Auto and um, Watch Dogs. And this second game is excellent.
So what's happening here? See if we can use something here. No. in Oakland but was born in <laughs> his deal is he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC and he's gone crack figured we'd give him a test drive on the hardest difficulty nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before I want to see if he's smart stubborn or both No way. So what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the dead sec IRC, and he's gone crack. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
GTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Oh, what? What to do here? Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. You know, I like that in this game you have a lot of puzzles, uh, you saw one of them right uh, a few moments ago, 
and uh, the entire game is uh, very challenging you have everything you need in order to have fun a lot of action a lot of puzzles a lot of chasing uh, cars well it's uh, it's like a grand theft auto on steroids or something like this anyway um the games are very beautiful even if you play the first one or this one it doesn't matter you can have a lot of fun with uh, games like this so let's try to, to skip this if it's possible Just... just gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later.
So this is the game. This is how it looks on uh, Google Stadia here on my iPad Pro. As I said, uh, probably you know by now uh, uh, the tablet, fourth generation, 12.9 inch uh, display, a great device for gameplays. Uh, either if we're talking about um, Google Stadia or remote play via uh, uh, PlayStation 5. Anyway, uh, it's a beautiful experience and I, uh, I really like this game here on Google Stadia. It looks fantastic. And the advantage uh, with Google Stadia, you don't need a physical console, uh, uh, a PlayStation or something like this to play games. Unfortunately, on Google Stadia, you don't have so many games as uh, you, uh, you do on uh, PlayStation, for example, because over there you can play uh, basically any game that you want and you can stream it on your phone or tablet. Here you have... Um, a growing uh, list with games on uh, Google Stadia by the way also here on Google Stadia you can use um, uh, touch screen inputs to play the games if you disconnect uh, the gamepad you will have uh, here on the screen uh, some touch inputs but uh, it's not uh, it's not the best experience with um, with the commands on the screen so my advice go for uh, for a gamepad for a controller and connect it here and it will uh, it will work so uh, i'm using my playstation 5 controller i like how uh, how it feels and how it performs but um the best experience with this one is on remote play via playstation 5 because you have uh, adaptive triggers available over there here on Google Stadia you don't have adaptive triggers basically you d you cannot access adaptive triggers in any other game unless you are using remote play via PlayStation so uh, that's why one of the main reasons uh, I like so much uh, remote play on Google on uh, PlayStation 5 the fact that I can use adaptive triggers and they really change everything. Uh, they are indeed something huge. And um, anyway, back to Google Stadia. The game looks amazing, beautiful experience, great uh, streaming. So all you need is internet and you can play a lot of games here on uh, Google Stadia. So uh, this is the game, this is how it looks. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and to write a comment in which you can uh, share with us your experience with Google Stadia, if you use it or not, if you play on a phone or a tablet. Just share with everyone else here your experience related, uh, related to Google Stadia. So um, this is it, thanks for watching.